All right, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Football with the worst team we could have assembled. So we won our last one by the final score of 28 to 21 over the Melonheads. Again, it really wasn't like that close. Um, the Melonheads got a late touchdown to make it a one score game, but really wasn't that close. The Panthers game was close. That was the one game I would say that we really could have lost. These other games that were one score games, I mean, we pretty much controlled the, you know, the game for most of it. Um, it wasn't really until I get, like I said, the last like couple 10 seconds where they got a late touchdown to make it a one score game, but we were pretty much in control the whole time. So this one we were going against the Hornets once again, our first time uh, playing a team for the second time. We already beat them 21-14 in week number two. Or, uh, Ernie Steele, I believe they had. You know, he was a good receiver for them. But they're at the bottom of our division. They are 1-4. and four. We already have a three-game lead on our division. Our division's playing is pretty weak right now. You know, I don't know if uh, any of these teams are going to, uh, you know, make a jump or, or push for, you know, the in the division. But as of right now, our division's pretty weak. Not a single team has a winning record besides us. Um, Ronnie Dobbs has been playing great. Uh, really, yeah, our whole our offense has been playing great. Defensively, we've struggled a little bit. You know, we've we have uh, been having a tough time making tackles and you know getting those 50-50 uh, interceptions. It seems to be more like 80-20. The offense seems to get those jump balls, but I am hoping that you know Ronnie Dobbs continues to carry the offense and hopefully you know we can keep this winning streak going because. We need all the points we can get to be able to win these games because our defense is not it. But we are going to hop into game number six here against the Hornets and look to stay undefeated. So let's hop in. Welcome back, football fans. It's another perfect day for football. It's a wet and rainy day here at Parks Department Field number three, and I forgot my umbrella. Today's game will feature two teams that have already met once this season. The Silly Pigskins will take on the Humongous Hornets. This is Sunny Day and my cohort, Chuck Downfield. Thanks, Sunny. It's fantastic to be here again. Yep, this brings back some memories. Football hasn't changed one bit since back when I was playing, except for one thing, Sonny. Uh, one of those things on their heads. Those are helmets, Chuck. They protect your head. Oh, wow. I really could have used one of those when I played. I think we're all ready to play some football. All right, here we go. Pigskins versus Hornets. Game number six. We are kicking off. It is raining. Um, From the 40, so Jorge. at least we're not playing in snow. I was getting kind of Waiting sick of playing the in the snow, but not rain is also could be also uh, very slippery. Oh, that's a great kick! It. It's a great kick. I thought it was going to be a touchback. <gasps> Taken down. Now we said 12 seconds off the clock too. So it was a great kick by Jorge, the and they are pinned deep. That's right. They have Jocinda well, as well. As far as Jocinda's not playing quarterback. She usually, she usually plays quarterback in these. Ernie Steele comes down with between two defenders. Yeah, that's a that's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be I, uh, Ernie Steele's got that height advantage that we just really can't match up with. Yep, there he goes again. <laughs> there he goes again, and we give him a power up. I yeah, I really just don't see us stopping him on those jump balls, those 50 50s. All right, can we make this tackle? Good tackle, down, Gretchen. But not before a four-yard gain. It'll be yeah. It, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna shade my way over to Ernie every time because I just. I'm afraid of him getting the ball. Drops back. Oh no. Oh my goodness, Ernie gets it again. We cannot stop this man. We cannot stop him. All right, let's try. Let's try going quarter. Let's try just playing deep on Ernie. Oh, get that, Angela! Oh, almost on the deflection. I'm taking your eyes off the ball. It'll be second down. Second down. And All right, we're going to shake. Oh, they're not. This is going to be some running, some running thing. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Gretchen, though, with a huge tackle. Just leap frog twenty feet over everybody. All right, can we stop Ernie? I'm shading. I'm shading over to Ernie's side. 
Oh no, Billy Jean. No, Billy Jean. Oh, fumble. No. <laughs> oh, such a range of emotions there. Yeah, our defense got cooked on that drive. Our defense got shredded to pieces. And we give up the first touchdown of the game. Yeah, when teams decide to throw the ball on us, it's really a struggle for our, our defense. I I mean when they run it, Angelo is actually pretty good at getting tackles. But when they when they throw it, it's it's rough. It's rough out there for our corners. But let's we'll see if we can uh, answer here on offense. They really stuck up that time. All right, we'll go back to our, our lunch pail, our, our staple of this Jean. offense. We'll start it from the 39, going to throw. Going up to Billie Jean. It's oh, it's intercepted. Quarter. Oh, no, I, I couldn't I couldn't get it out far, far the enough. They, they had Gretchen the covered from by we'll Jocinda, so I tried throwing it deep, and that did not work. Oh, another one, Ernie Steele. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting destroyed by Ernie Steele, man. We cannot stop him. We cannot stop him. All right. Oh, another one. <laughs> I, I even shaded Boom over there, and it did not even matter. Well, there's, I don't think there's anything we can do. I really don't think there's anything we can do to stop him. Twenty-four yard line. Drops back to Billy Jean. Pop. All right, good defense, Billy Jean. She covered, she covered two people herself on that one. They have numbers in their favor. If she had just made the catch. All right, let's see what they do do here. Fired into the flat. Intercepted by Amir Khan. We needed that one. We needed that one. That was a that's a huge play from Amir right there. Turnovers will kill you. All right, we're going back to lunch pail. I, I think Billy Jean did have a step just a little late. From the 13, drop yeah, they're to they're covering it pretty well, like over the middle. Not really much room. What a catch! That kid must have flypaper on All right, we'll go slices this time. On their own 21 yard line. Amir. Con, nice. Amir. Got it. Hold on for a medium gain. Third and short. We're going back to lunch tail. But yeah, they are they are covering up this route pretty well. Going to throw. All right, Gretchen. Gretchen's wide open. She comes down with it. Gretchen, go, go, go! It's a foot race. Can she make it all the way? I think she will. That's a huge play. Seventy-yard touchdown for Gretchen Hasselhoff, and the Pigskins get on the board here with 11 seconds to go in the half. Ooh, that was big. We needed that one. We definitely, definitely needed that one. All right, let's see if we can tie up this game here. Jorge is on the field for the point after attempt. Jorge knocks it through. Good. Nice snap. Nice hold. Nice kick. All right, we're, we're, we have knotted up the game at seven. Almost similar to the last game, although the sides are reversed, where it was like a 14-point swing. You know, they were about to... Uh, they were about to get a touchdown of their own. Amir met the interception, and we go down the field to uh, get one there. So that's uh, that was that was a huge uh, swing turn of events there. Just tackle him, tackle him. There we go. Welcome to halftime, football fans. The two teams head into the half tied in this defensive struggle. Seven, seven. At this pace, they should be at double digits by next uh, Thursday. Let's head back to the game. All right, Arnie Steele absolutely killed us. I mean, even when I was shading two people to his side, he is just getting every jump ball over us. We really can't stop him. We got lucky on that one interception. I don't even know how Amir came down with it, but we definitely need to do something in the second half. Luckily for us, we are getting the ball to start off this half, so hopefully we can score here and take the lead. Amir, waiting for the kick. Brings it in at the 36. Really, we didn't have the ball too much on offense. I can't even really say how our offense is doing. We had the one interception and then the one touchdown, so we'll try Noodle here. The pigskins will begin at the Amir Khan has a step. Long drop. Oh, he dropped it. He, he right off his. That brings up he, he, he was right off his hands. Just couldn't hold on. Back to lunch pail. Second down and a ways to go. Drops back. Billy Jean has a step. Oh, another drop. 
interrupted. Another drop. Third down. My receivers are killing me right now. Long drop. Ooh, Billy Jean's open. Throws it to the flat. Billy Jean, what are you doing out there? What are we doing out there? We're going for it. We're going for it. Fourth and twenty. Long drop. Billy Jean, oh, that's not good. Yeah, that was. Ah, uh, oh, it's a punt. It's a punt. The Hornet. Will Man, that was a waste of the drive. That was definitely a waste the waste of a drive right there. From the oh, Billy Jean though, she gets it right back. Billy Jean gets it right back on the interception. That's huge. I don't know why they didn't throw it to Ernie Steele there. That was kind of a, a you know a poor decision by by Paco, the quarterback. Gretchen's open. Gretchen's the only one with hands on her team apparently. What a catch! That kid must have fly paper on his hands. All right, let's go for slices. Let's try to do something short. It'll be second down on the pigskins, 24-yard line. Amir Khan comes down with it. All right, first and goal. Nice read by the quarterback. Complete for some. All right, we're going back to slices. Open, open, somebody. Yes, Billy Jean comes down with it. She steals the ball from Amir Khan, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is we get the touchdown. Yeah, they've been they've been covering the deep throw pretty well, um, and even the lunch pail pretty well. So we've had to mix up our offense. We had to go to the slices play there, but we do take the lead after a big interception from Billy Jean. And Jorge knocks it through. What a kick! That but like a bottle and that really doesn't mean anything. We'll that it's the the, the, uh, the Hornets could still easily tie this one up. Ernie has got it. Fumble? That would be huge. Text no. Tackle. All right, we're going back to quarter drop. The I don't know. I, I'm just we're just gonna play deep. Oh no! Boom! Get there! The boom! Boom! That's <laughs> the interception. The what a play! Only to reappear what a play from Boom Boom! Interception. Second interception of the, the season. The pigskins will start it from the. Amir, don't drop this one this time. Ronnie, yes, Amir Khan catches it in stride. Can he go all the way? He will. Touchdown, pigskins! What a turn of events this was. What a momentum shift. What a huge momentum shift. Boom Boom gets the interception. Amir Khan comes down with it, and the Pigskins find themselves with a two touchdown lead here in the fourth quarter. Straight through. Picture perfect kick, Sadie. Whew, like at, even though we have a two uh, two score lead, though, it's still. I feel like this game. This game, I, I, you know, I feel very fortunate to be up by two touchdowns. Let's we'll say that. I feel very fortunate. The, the Hornets really shot themselves in the foot um, a number of times in this one. The Hornets will start at their own 35 yard line. Back to throw. Ooh, almost intercepted by Angela on the, uh, the rebound. Yeah, ever since we've uh, switched to quarter drop, it seems to be working better for us. Oh, come on. Ernie, Ernie, no. He, he, he catches him and breaks two tackles on the play, and he is gone. He is gone. All right, the Hornets, they are not they are not done yet. There's still enough time left where they can, uh, they can get a stop and the ball back. All right, I think they're probably going to go for it. No, no, they're not. Usually they, they go for it in the, for whatever reason. Kick. That looked like a bottle rocket. It looks like Jacinda is going to All take right. the Let's kick. No, uh, back to the no kick. fumbles. They're going to let this one bounce. We'll bring it back. From All right. The 15 seconds left. Set the, the waste this time. Uh, we're going back to our slices play. The pig skin will start it from the 32. Ron oh no! Ooh, that was risky. That was such a that was such an unnecessarily dangerous throw. But Billy G comes down with it. There was no reason for me to throw that football. Ronnie Dobbs. All right, six seconds. Honestly, we should need to throw it deep, like all the way. The should waste a good amount of time. Throws it to the flat. Oh, he comes out with it. 
I, I'm th I didn't even expect him to catch that football, but we win. For some big yards. We're going to call it a day. The pigskins come out on top. 21-14. The better team won today. Their running game just never got started. Well, I'm done. How about you? See you next time. For Chuck Downfield, I'm Sunny Day. So long. All right, we come away with a victory. Uh, once again, another 21-14 victory. Seems like that seems to be the popular score for our team this year. That one was kind of ugly one. Did not start out too well, but the Hornets with those four turnovers, they really shot themselves in the foot. Um, taking a look at this team stats, we did not run the ball once. Receiving, though, Amir Khan had a big day. Uh, 120 yards and a touchdown. Gretchen had a big 70-yard touchdown. Billy Jean with a touchdown as well. Ronnie Dobbs, not his best performance, but still three touchdowns, two picks, 211 yards, 64%. On defense, Gretchen had five tackles. Boom had a big interception. Yeah, three interceptions for our defense here. Uh, definitely was much needed in this victory. I am curious how Ernie steeled it, though. How, how many... How many yards? 169 yards for Ernie Steele, man. That is, uh, that's pretty bad to allow that many, but we do still come away with the victory here to improve our record to 6 and 0. Um, so take a look at the schedule. We'll play the Rockets in the next one. Let's take a look at the Rockets. Uh, they're 4 and 2, so they are in second place in the Banker Conference. So big game. Big game next uh, next episode. We'll see, uh, you know, who the Rockets have, how good they are. But as of right now, it's uh, every game has been like a one score game, except for the first one. Every every one since has been a one score game. Ronnie Dobbs still leading the league in completion with seventy three percent, third in passing yards, pretty close behind Sheila Basanti, but Steve Young is way up there at first. Um, Ronnie Dobbs does have six interceptions, which is you know. I feel like he's gotten a couple of these last couple games, but he's still been playing really well, so not going to hold it against him. Rushing yards. Fumbles lost. Billy Jean still up there with four receptions. Gretchen, 25. Good enough for tie for second with Ernie Steele and Amanda Prout. Uh, receiving yards. Jerry Rice having a crazy year. He's Jerry Rice is up there in a lot of things. So you're telling me the 49ers of Steve Young and Jerry Rice. I mean, I know they do, obviously, in real life, but... Um, I'm curious what the, the Niners record is. We're, we'll take a look at the, after this one, but Angel leading the league in tackles. Amir, four interceptions, second in the league. And nothing really else there. So what is the 49ers record? Or five and one. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh man, if we had to play the 49ers in the uh, the Serial Bowl, oh man, good good <laughs> we are we are we're done. We're done for. Jerry Rice and uh, Steve Young on the same team as uh oof. But that is now the third game, in a, or not in a row, but the third time this year we've won 21-14. to 14. Again, it uh, seems to be a popular score for us. But I'm just happy we got the win. We're 6-0. Oh, we're rolling. Uh, next one, we'll play the Rockets. Look to stay undefeated. And next episode will also be marked the halfway point of the season. So uh, that's going to do it for this one. Until next time, catch y'all later.